Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes. Andrew, there is nothing like the opening week of the spring trophy rock season. Yeah, you got that right, Willie. Opening day was back on April 15th, and the rockfish this time of year have to be a minimum of 35 inches to keep. And we're hearing some reports that it's been a tough bite so far. Yeah, some crews have spent an entire day just to get a couple of fish. But if you know where to look for them, you do have a fighting chance of limiting out. We're aboard the Kingfish 2 out of Winona this early morning, trying to beat some of the other boats to the only place that Captain Harry Neal knows where the fish are, and that's 32 miles from where we started. We are today not where we should be. Uh, we are way north at the uh, gas between the gas docks and power plant up just above Solomon's Island at Cove Point. Normally this time of year we would be in Tangier Sound, uh, doing very well this first week of the season. But uh, for some reason this year's look really off and the fish are not where they usually are and in the numbers that they usually are. Harry and first mate Bill Mingerson will be putting out 23 lines this morning for this trip chartered by five members of the Ocean City Marlin Club. Last, good. They're used to fishing on the other side of the Delmarva Peninsula, but today they're bay bound. Okay. You should have done it by height. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the fish are you know, supposedly way up the rivers and still on their spawn, the majority of them. So hopefully they'll come out. It's some real quality fish, not huge numbers, but we've been scraping out some limits and uh, catching some quality fish. And people seem to be happy with that. A beautiful morning makes it easier to accept what might be a long, tough day trying to scrape out those five keeper rock. Our competition is but a handful of boats out here near the famous Cliffs of Calvert. And with our lines only 10 minutes in the water, Colin Campbell is our first angler up, and that's a real good sign. Come on, Cupcake, get that fish in here. <laughs> good job, Bill. <laughs> we'll do the Chesapeake Bay waltz to keep the lines from getting tangled. Uh, that feels like a nice fish today. Beautiful morning. And without too much trouble, Colin lands our first keeper. Nice fish, beautiful. I know he was hungry. He inhaled that thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. One of our, lo our local guys' baits, uh, Steve Norris's Spanky Baits, right there. Look, he inhaled it. He just had to have it. One of Spanky's baits. There you go. Kingfish do charters. Come get your fish. We only have a few minutes to catch our breath, and then we see a sight that makes everyone's pulse quicken. Probably a bunch of smaller grade fish, but we get ready to find out. Hungry birds, lots of them which equals a huge school of bait, which equals rockfish. Nice. Nice. And what follows will be about 20 minutes of non-stop fishing action. Where is it? Break. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Came off, yeah. Uh, this feels like a pretty nice one. Nice fish. All right. Woo! Beautiful. Yeah. We can't even pause for pictures when another fish strikes. Got him on, Harry! And Fishbone gets a second chance. This guy is too small to keep, so he'll pose for pictures just long enough before going back over. But just moments later, Arlen Drenning hooks this fish and the fight is on. That's good. In all the excitement, angler Dale Withers sees movement on the rod tip and starts reeling. I'm, like, I'm stealth fishing. And sure enough, he's got a fish too. Wow. Looking at that, I saw this rod tip next to and just like that, this drinking club with a fishing problem has just about limited out in under an hour. That was a city marlin club. <laughs> Glad we got into it. I uh, fished with uh, Captain Harry quite a few times. He always puts us on the fish. That was fantastic, just what the doctor ordered. You guys noticed enough, but we didn't have a bite until we started drinking beer. This week's episode of Outdoors Town Marlboro sponsored by National Life. <laughs> After the start of the season, been a little slow. We've had some slow days. That just couldn't be any. Couldn't ask for any more of that. Get him! And for our friend Fishbone, the third time is the charm. Good job, buddy. Hold that rod up for me, would you? And 
and that's how you limit out in about an hour. Uh, we've been putting in a lot of time trying to find these fish this spring, and it's just been a little off for us. By far, this is the best morning we've had. Uh, glad for the group. I think everybody had a real good time. Nice quality class fish, and uh, uh, it's what it's all about. Everybody coming out here, catching a fish, and having a good time. Get outdoors, Delmarva!